What is going on guys, my name is Drakesy and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be building a best possible Austria team in FIFA 19. So without any further ado, I want to get started with this team. But if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to like just down below and then also subscribe if you're new. But without any further ado, let's get straight into the Austria team. Starting off in net, we have Ozkan. Sadly, he's not had an upgrade this year, and this is his base card. It's 75 rated, a non-rare gold card. There's some decent 70 stats on the card, but nothing that really stands out. Honestly, the only stat that I'm looking at is his positioning, which is 76. And then 75 reflexes isn't too bad, I guess. But yeah, that's Ozkan in net. Not the most amazing, but... I just wish he had an upgrade at least. Next into the team is a guy named Delava, I think so you would say his name. And as we can see, he's a 75 rated centre back. Once again, just a normal base card, not rare at all. But he's got decent pace for a centre back at 70. And he's also got some alright defending stats. Stats like the uh, 75 on defending and then the 74 on physical, which make him a decent card and probably usable if you were to build this team. Only problem is that three man back line, which might be a bit of an issue. The next player into the team is going to be Dragovic. And as we can see, Dragovic is a 77 rated, once again, normal goal card, 66 pace on his card, 77 for defended, and then 76 for his physical, making him, once again, a solid card. But I'm looking for some higher rated cards so far, and I'm sure we'll find them. Let's get cracking. And one of those higher rated players is this guy called Hinteregger, I think so you say his name? Hinteregger? Maybe I'm incorrect. But this guy is an inform, so it's the first special card into the team. 81 rated in form. I think this is his first in form in FIFA 19 as well. Uh, as we can see, 72 pace on his card, making pretty decent in that back line. 82 defending and then 82 physical as well. Not the worst, along with that 70 passing. He's a pretty decent card. If only he's a Dragovic and Delava were a little bit stronger and a little bit quicker, this could be a pretty decent back line. Next into the team is a guy that I think you say his name as Kynes. Maybe I'm incorrect, but as we can see, once again, he's a base silver, 76 rated, 85 pace on his card, making him quite quick. Quicker than I expected him to be, honestly. Um, and then the other stat that we're looking at is that 80 dribbling. Apart from that, not the best card. He's probably going to do a decent job at the left mid position. Quicker than a lot of people might expect. So if you're playing people online, maybe you'll be so quick that they won't expect it and shoot past them. But yeah, decent card. Wish his physical was a bit higher than 57 though. And it seems like everybody in this team is a base gold. But as we can see, Yunuzovic, I think is how you say this guy's name. I think you pronounce J's as Y's, so I think it's Yunuzovic. Maybe I'm incorrect. Let me know if you are Austrian or you know how to pronounce this guy's name in the comment section below. But he is 78 rated on his card. And as we can see, he's a pretty decent centre mid. You do need to convert him back to a centre defensive mid if you build this team. But looking at the stats on his card, solid 70s across the board. Board, and that 81 dribbling is pretty interesting on his card along with 79 for passing making him a decent center mid if only his defending was a bit higher he'd be a perfect all-rounder the next player into the team is another legend I, I say legend he's been around for a good couple of years it's Baumgartlinger and as we can see he is actually a rare gold card so we've actually got a new card into the team 78 rated he is naturally a centre defensive mid but looking at some of the stats on his card 70 for pace which is pretty decent for a centre defensive mid and the other stats we're looking at are the 77 for defending and then that 82 which makes him pretty good as a centre defensive mid on this team and the player that you've been waiting for is this player the right midfielder David Alaba looking at this card this card looks fantastic I love the aesthetic of this card. It looks really, really good. Oh, one of the best looking cards in FIFA. I'm sure you guys can agree. Looking at his badge and his crest, all colour matching as well. Looks fantastic. But yeah, this is David Alaba's 89 rated upgrade card. And as we can see, this is why we had three man back line. As um, Austria doesn't have the best right back. And uh, to get the strongest David Alaba card in, we had to use three at the back. But looking at this, 90 on his pace. 87 on shooting, 89 on passing, 
Net 89 again on dribbling, 83 on defending, and then 78 on physical. What a midfielder, what a right midfielder, should I say, this card looks like. It looks incredible to use. Let me know if you guys have used him, because I might try and buy him, because honestly, he looks fantastic. The centre attacking mid to this team is a guy named Sabitzer, and as we can see, he's a centre attacking mid, and he's an inform, so he's an 84 rated, playing for RB Leipzig, I think, in the German league. 83 pace on his card, 84 shooting, 76 for passing, which isn't the worst for a centre attacking mid, uh, 81 on that dribbling as well, and then 80 on physical. An all round decent card, and probably quite cheap as well, so yeah, probably a solid buy into this team. And the first striker into this team is going to be Berg Stahler. Now, as we can see, this is his uh, Champions League card because he plays for Schalke. Any player in the Champions League got one of these kind of one overall upgrade cards. So this is Bergstaller's 80 rated card. And as we can see, his pace, not the best at 69. <laughs> but as we can see, he's got 81 for shooting, 74 for dribbling, and then 85 for physical, making him absolutely strong as anything up top. It's a shame he's just not a slight bit quicker. And to wrap up this team, it's the striker card for Arnautovic. I think this was a squad builder card, squad builder reward, I think, for Arnautovic. But as we can see, 87 rated I love the look of this card once again looks really nice together the colors really match up but looking at the stats on his card 85 pace 87 shooting 84 passing 87 again for dribbling and then 87 one more time for that physical making him an incredible striker to have in the team but looking at the team overall it's just an incredible team just an absolutely incredible team. If only there were some more upgrades in, in the bottom left side, you know, where all the base gold cards are. But looking at David Alaba, Sabitzer and Arnautovic, three fantastic players in a team. If only you could maybe make a hybrid instead of this. But officially, this is the strongest Austrian team in FIFA 19. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed, be sure to like this video down below. I'm doing a thumb down. No, 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 no. Give it a like. Um, and yeah, and then also be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of this face in the future. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I've been Drakesy, and I'll see you in a bit.